Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to this achievement guide for Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade, and also presumably Banjo Kazooie on Rare Replay. The game is, in truth, actually rather quite easy to get 100% achievements in because it's one of those games where there's not that many achievements, only 12 in total, and 8 of those 12 are just achievements you get for playing the game. So it's very much so that if you pass the game, you've already gotten most of the achievements. These eight include Get Jiggy, which literally just requires you to get two Jiggy, something you'll probably do in the first ten minutes of the game. Mumbo Jumbo, which requires you to transform for the first time, once again something that's entirely unavoidable if you're just playing through the game. Knockout Nipper, which you get for defeating the boss in Treasure Trove Cove, something that everyone will do without even realising it's an achievement. And in the same line, Free Clanker, which you get for, of course, freeing Clanker, you just swim through the key three times and then bang, Clanker's free and you get an achievement. Chomp Chomp, which you get during the minigame against Mr. Vile, you have to eat 30 red yumblies for this one, which might sound like a high number, but I got it without even realizing there was an achievement for it. And then we have Move Master, which just requires you to learn all the moves, something you'll definitely do if you beat the game, so don't even bother worrying about that one, just play through the game regularly and it will happen. Continuing in this vein, we have the Quiz Master, which requires you to finish Grunty's Furnace Fun and answer one randomized question correctly, which... Maybe you could finish the game without doing, but I think you'd probably have to actively try to avoid it. I think the randomized questions are referring to the ones about Grunty that her sister gives you the information on throughout the game, so maybe if you used all of your skip cards to avoid every single one of those, you could get through the furnace fun without answering the questions correctly and therefore avoid the achievement, but it's literally an achievement that you would have to go out of your way to avoid getting, and if you do the quiz normally, which you have to do to pass the game, you'll definitely get this achievement. And then of course there's Gingernated, which you get for passing the game and defeating Grunty. These are the 8 achievements that I think every single player who plays through the game to its completion will almost certainly unlock. I mean, you could definitely miss some of them like Beat Nipper and Chomp Chomp, which are tied to individual Jiggies that you get, because you don't need all of the Jiggies to pass the game, but even these are really low level easy Jiggies to get that definitely wouldn't be up on my list of most difficult Jiggies to get in the game. And then we come to show me the Honey and Music Maestro, which I suppose are the two achievements for the real completionists. Although, I'm not really sure why there's not a third for getting all the jiggies. These two are not really that difficult to achieve. You get them for collecting all of the music notes and collecting all of the honey cones respectively. And the welds in banjo are not exactly that big, so if you've spent a little bit of time in each weld, you've probably got each respective achievement. I can't really do an in-depth tutorial on how to achieve these two achievements if you've not actually achieved them, because if you haven't managed to get one of these two achievements, it means that you're missing either one or more of 24 honeycombs, or you're missing one or more of 900 music notes. This video would get real boring real fast if I sat here and told you where every single music note is, so instead if you are missing one, I'll give you a little bit of a tip. If you pause the game and go into view totals, you can use your left thumbstick to navigate a menu that will give you information on each world in the game. This information includes how many music notes you've gotten in that world and how many you can get, as well as the same information for honeycombs. So if you have finished the game and not gotten those two achievements, go into this menu, find the world in which you haven't completed, and go and have another look around. And now moving on to the two slightly more obscure achievements you can get in Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox 360 Live Arcade, we have Cheating Cheeto, which is a little bit more complicated and would not really surprise me if quite a few people have overlooked. So you get this achievement by encountering Cheeto three times, who is Gruntilda's magic spellbook, who gives you cheats that you can use in the game to help you beat Gruntilda, who is hidden throughout Gruntilda's lair, the overworld, and not in actual game worlds. To find the first Cheeto, you want to go down the tunnel found past Bubble Gloop Swamp, in which you find the puzzle you must complete in order to unlock Freeze Easy Peak. You must then go up the icy hill to your left when exiting said tunnel and ground pound the icy boulder found there which is covering up a small tunnel. This tunnel is far too small for Banjo but if you go into Bubble Gloop Swamp and return back to the tunnel in the crocodile form that Mumbo Jumbo gives you in Bubble Gloop Swamp, you'll be able to go through it and bam presto you found Cheetah for the first time. To find Cheeto the second time, you must once again utilize one of Mumbo Jumbo's form transformations, this time in Mad Monster Mansion, and take your pumpkin once again out of the game world and back into Gruntilda's lair. Exit into the room that drops off into the lava, but instead of heading towards the jigsaw that unlocks Gobby's Valley, head down the other path which leads to Gruntilda's sister. Once you get to her, you'll find a very small pumpkin-sized entrance, which, if you go through, you'll find Cheeto for the second time. And to find Cheeto for the third and final time, you want to head back to the room flooded with water, which leads up to the Click Clock Woods entrance. But instead of platforming your way up to the Click Clock Woods entrance, go to the platform which is only slightly higher than the water level, in which there are three different pipes, with the one in the middle being the one you want to go up. Crown Pound the water level switch, which I believe to be the third water level switch in Gruntilda's lair, but either way, it's the one at the top of this pipe, which will raise the water level to its highest point and start a countdown timer. 
This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You now want to jump back into the water, dive down and swim through the pipe which has the big glowing red eyes which leads to the level entrance of Rusty Bucket Bay. Once you swim through the tunnel, you want to immediately swim upwards towards the right and quickly get onto the platform you find up there which wouldn't have been reachable if you hadn't raised the water level. Then simply follow the green staircase upwards which will lead you once again to Cheeto for your third and final encounter which will give you your achievement. And now for your twelfth and final achievement, which is probably the most difficult one, not just because it's actually hard to figure out because it's a secret, but also because the challenge you must complete is not exactly easy. This achievement is called Jigsaw Maker, but it's not referring to the jigsaws that you have to complete in order to unlock levels as you might well expect, but instead referring to a secret challenge that you can do back in Spiral Mountain. To do this challenge, head back to Spiral Mountain, go back into Banjo's house, walk onto the carpet, and have a look at the painting of bottles. This will trigger a puzzle minigame in which you have to complete a moving puzzle in the time provided. It's very much like the ones found in Banjo-Tooie, except completing these ones in Banjo-Kazooie give you funny cheat codes to enter in the sandcastle that have some pretty hilarious results. These puzzles, especially around number 5 or 6, definitely start to become quite difficult and, well, being puzzles, there's not exactly that many tips I can give you to help complete them because you just have to pretty much do the puzzle. I will, however, give the small hint that all of the pieces always go to the same spot when you start the puzzle, so as you get into the later ones, I doubt you'll actually be able to complete it unless you're actually memorising where the pieces go rather than actually trying to complete the puzzle on the fly. And so there you have it. Once you've completed the 7th puzzle, you've gotten the 12th achievement and 100%ed Banjo-Kazooie. I hope you have enjoyed this video and it's helped you out a little bit. It's the first achievement guide I've done so it might have been a little bit rough, but I hope it gets you there anyway. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time I have been and still am Grim Grindle.